All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add integers using a number line as their model. There are a lot of different models that could be used. This time, we're going to use the uh, empty number line. So start with a very baby problem. We're going to do 5 plus 3 just to get the hang of, of this idea. And uh, an empty number line means you don't really have a sense of, of, of the scale of what it is. It's flexible, completely flexible. So in this case, we're going to start off with zero, and we always start off with zero. And when adding a positive number, that means move to the right. So five plus three means you're starting off at zero, you're going to move to the right five, and then you're going to move to the right three. And so move to the right five, move to the right three, and that puts us at eight. So the answer is eight. No, duh. Not all that complicated. Um, and this one, this is positive 5 plus positive 1. So once again, we're going to draw an empty number line. We always start off at 0. And uh, positive 5, once again, means it's a hop to the right of 5. Puts us at 5. Positive 1 is a hop to the right of 1. So we're going to end up at 6. All right. Now, next one, 5 plus negative 2. Well, once again, we're going to start off with that empty number line. We're going to start off at 0. And 0, you can kind of put it anywhere you want in your number line. I'm going to put it right here. And this positive 5 means go to the right 5. There's a go to the right 5, and that puts us at 5. Now, this negative 2. Well, if, a hop, if adding 5 or positive 5 plus 3 meant a hop to the right followed by another hop to the right. 5 and 1. Positive 5 meant a hop to the right. Positive 1 means a hop to the right. So in this case, 5 plus negative 2, it's going to mean a hop to the right of 5. Boom. And then negative 2 means instead of hopping to the right, it means we're going to hop to the left, 2. And that's going to put us at 3. So 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3 because we haven't crossed over into the negative side of 0. So 5 plus negative 8. Draw our number line. Here's our 0. Positive 5 means hop to the right, 5. So there's our 5, and it puts us at 5. And then this negative 8 means we're going to hop to the left, because the previous example, when we were adding a negative, we hopped to the left. Um, adding negative 8 means we're going to hop to the left 8, which means we're going to cross over this 0, because the absolute value of negative 8 is um, 8, and 8 is greater than 5. So that's going to kind of push us all the way into the negative side, hop to the left, and it doesn't matter how far, it's, it's all, this is just to help you get the answer. So we're going to the left, 8, and that's going to put us where? Well, it's going to put us at negative 3. Now here's the thing. The next example is actually going to be negative 8 plus positive 5. Let's take a look at this. What happens if we flip the order and change the order? This is the commutative property. We, we, we want to see if the commutative property works in addition. Well, let's do it. So negative 8 plus 5. Well, in this case, the negative 8 meant a hop to the left. So let's see what happens if we start on the same number line. And we're going to hop to the left 8, because we're going to look at this. So we're going to hop to the left 8. So I'm going to go boom, boom. There's negative 8. And that puts us at negative 8. Now this pos plus a positive 5 means hop to the right of 5, and negative 8 plus 5. Now if we're going to go add 5 to the right, we're not going to cross the 0. We're going to be still on the negative side. And sure enough, it's going to if we add 5, that's going to put us at the same location of negative 3. So what does that tell us? That tells us that addition is commutative, which means uh, if you're adding, you can reverse the order and you're going to get the exact same answer. So that automatically tells us up here that negative 2 plus 5 is also 3. It tells us that positive 1 plus positive 5 is also 6. And you've known that 3 plus 5 is 8 ever since first grade. So we are, if, if ever you want to, if you want to flip the, direct, the, the order of an addition problem, you're allowed to do that. All right. 
So negative 6 plus 10. Let's do that. So negative 6 is, we're going to start at 0. Negative 6 means a hop to the left. 6 spaces, so that's going to put us at negative 6. Plus a positive 10, that means a hop to, of 10 spaces to the right. means we're going to cross over this 0 uh, because 10 is larger than 6. So we're going to hop to the right, 10. And where is that going to put us? Well, you can think of it as, hmm, if we're going to hop to the right, 10. Well, hopping to the right, 6, puts us back at 0. So 6 to the left, 6 to the right, puts us back at 0. Plus four more little hops puts us at the correct answer of 10. So you got, you can either think of it as just 10 hops to the right and putting us at 4. Or you can kind of decompose 10 and break it up into 6 hops plus another 4 hops. And that gives you the answer of 4. Positive 4. And then negative 6 plus negative 2. Another number line. Here's 0. So negative 6. 6 hops to the left puts us at negative 6. Negative 2 is 2 hops to the left. That places us at negative 8. And then the last one, negative 10 plus negative 5. Once again, I'm going to, oh, I'll put the 0 way over here. 0, so negative 10. 10 hops to the left puts us at negative 10. Negative 5 is 5 more hops to the left, and that places us at the answer of negative 15.